Senator, I want to get into the politics. Four years ago, you were emphatic on various ways you said it. You heard it in that list of clips. Uh, you would add on uh, different times. I want to give the American people a voice in this. Um, why don't you want to give the American people a voice this time? The shoe were on the other foot and the Democrats had the White House and the Senate, they would right now be trying to confirm another member of the Supreme Court. You don't know that. proposing is completely <laughs> consistent, completely consistent <laughs> with the precedent. You know, I scoured, I've scoured um, all of these 2016 notes looking for these footnotes that have been added now. You guys have this, this new explanation. Never once um, on the Senate floor when election is just months away in 2016, you said the people should be allowed to consider possible Supreme Court nominees as one factor in deciding who they'll support for president. This shouldn't even really be controversial. Then you said this is not about the person, it's about the principle involved, and I want to give the American people a voice in this. Uh, I, I, Republicans have said there would, should not be a bitter political fight. We have called on the president to spare the country this fight. The best way to avoid the fight is to agree to let the people decide. <laughs> Senator, these are your words. Not once did you say, oh, Come it depends down, on what party the Senate holds versus the party of the president. This just sounds like a power grab. That's Pure and what Biden said. Well, it is the Biden Dude. rule, and this is the way, this is the precedent of the country. What? You haven't there had, no Biden rule. Yes, you haven't yes, had since is. eight. Senator, I guess the question is, should viewers, when should, should viewers just b not believe anything you're saying today? Because whatever you're saying today will change depending on the politics of the moment. Senator, I want to just quote you back to yourself like, one more time. Like the media we have called the on the president to spare the country this fight. The best way to avoid this fight, to agree to let the people decide. Give the people a voice. Why is it that, that this, uh, this principle only matters when a Democrat is in the White House? Hey, welcome back, everybody. Now, I wanted to do this interview because it's hilarious how Chuck Todd just starts to break down uh, when he's faced with undeniable facts, which he denies anyway. But first, just give me one minute to tell you about this special offer from this episode's sponsor, Biotrust Ageless Multicollagen. After 20 years old, your body will naturally decrease its collagen production by 12% each passing decade. This is a leading reason as to why skin appears thinner and more wrinkled as we age. It's essential for skin, bones, and more. And the way to keep our skin looking healthy and youthful is by consuming five different types of collagen. Ageless Multi Collagen provides you with the five types of collagen your body needs and one complete protein. As an added bonus, Ageless Multi Collagen is non-GMO and there's zero artificial flavors, colors, preservatives, sweeteners, gluten, or antibiotics. You'll enjoy powerful support for your body with results you can see and feel in a few short weeks. Get Ageless Multi Collagen for 51% off plus free shipping by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by clicking the link in the video description box below. As we all know by now, uh, Ginsburg has passed away, which has left an open seat in the Supreme Court that needs to be filled. And lo and behold, that's going to be left up to President Trump and just months before an election. I mean, you couldn't ask for a more tense situation. And as it stands, the media and the Democrats are currently losing their minds. I mean, everywhere you look, these people are just willing to go to any extreme, apparently, to keep Trump from filling the, uh, the Supreme Court seat. So we're gonna go through this hilarious interview with Chuck Todd, who we all know by now, I've talked about it every time I talk about Chuck Todd, that his wife uh, has a law firm that works for Democrats. and. Uh, his family, they make millions off the Democrat Party. So you really can't trust anything coming from this guy. I mean, besides the point he never discloses this, he should disclose it before every show, that he, his lifestyle, his rich lifestyle is thanks to the Democrat Party. But beyond that, I mean, he's clearly a biased individual. I mean, this guy's clearly in the tank for Democrats. Four years ago, you were emphatic on various ways you said it. You heard it in that list of clips. Uh, you would add on a different times. I want to give the American people a voice in this. Um, why don't you want to give the American people a voice this time? Well, first, let's be very clear. If the shoe were on the other foot and the Democrats had the White House and the Senate, they would right now be trying to confirm another member of the Supreme Court. You don't what know we're that. proposing is completely consistent, completely consistent with 
the precedent. Okay, so right off the bat, Chuck Todd is denying that if the Democrats controlled the Senate and the White House, that they wouldn't be trying to name a Supreme Court nominee right now. And they would be doing it with the full backing of the media. And the media would be using the exact same arguments that the Republicans are right now. It's true. Back in 2016, Republicans blocked uh, Barack Obama from naming his Supreme Court nominee because it was butting up right to an election and they made the argument that... Uh, we shouldn't be giving the president that's on his way out the choice of the uh, Supreme Court nominee. And this is a little bit different because he was on his way out. It wasn't like he was had a chance of being president again, Barack Obama. And at the time, Republicans were using something that they called the Biden rule. Now, the Biden rule uh, came from 1992 when Joe Biden hypothetically suggested that if there were going to be a SCOTUS seat that needed to be filled just before an election, that the president should wait until after the election so that the new president and uh, the people, American people, could essentially choose who the next Supreme Court justice was going to be. Now, it didn't happen up until the 2016 election. And then Republicans strategically said, hey, we're going to block this and we're going to use Joe Biden's own words to do it. It was a prudent move and it worked strategically. But here's the thing. Every other time that this has happened, they've gone ahead and they've nominated a Supreme Court justice. So yes, it's true. The Republicans are kind of being hypocrites, but who cares? The Democrats and the media are hypocrites every day and it doesn't seem to matter at all. So why should it matter to us? The fact is, this is a completely different situation from what we saw in 2016. For one, Trump can be reelected. Obama couldn't be. And Republicans control both the White House and the Senate. Democrats didn't control the Senate at the time. We were following the Joe Biden rule. Joe Biden was clearly uh, was clear when he was chairman of the Judiciary Committee. And he said when there is a Senate of one party and a White House of the other, and he said this to George Herbert Walker Bush, he said if there's a vacancy in that final year, we will not confirm and that's what we did Senator. with Merrick Garland but 29 yeah. times Chuck there have been vacancies in the year of a presidential election and if both the White House and the Senate are of the same party they go forward with the confirmation Bingo! These are exactly the standards that Joe Biden set out in 1992 and that Republicans decided to use in 2016. But Chuck Todd just cannot stand this and reacts like a whining child because essentially Democrats have been outplayed politically. So, you know, I scoured, I have scoured um, all of these 2016 notes looking for these footnotes that have been added now. You guys have this, this new explanation. Never once um, on the Senate floor when election is just months away, in 2016, you said that people should be allowed to consider possible Supreme Court nominees as one factor in deciding who they'll support for president. This shouldn't even really be controversial. Then you said this is not about the person. It's about the principle involved. And I want to give the American people a voice in this. Uh, I, I, Republicans have said there would, should not be a bitter political fight. We have called on the president to spare the country this fight. The best way to avoid the fight is to agree to let the people decide. Senator, these are your words. Not once did you say, oh, it depends on what party the Senate holds versus the party of the president. This just sounds like a power grab, pure and simple. Senator, I guess the question is, should viewers, when should, should viewers just not believe anything you're saying today? Because whatever you're saying today will change depending on the politics of the moment. Senator, I want to just quote you back to yourself one more time. We have called on the president to spare the country this fight. The best way to avoid this fight, to agree to let the people decide. Give the people a voice. Why is it that, that this, uh, this principle only matters when a Democrat is in the White House? Well, what I'm hearing sounds like a bunch of whining that Democrats got outplayed. Chuck Todd can't stand this and is literally throwing a temper tantrum on the air. Since Chuck Todd's so interested in what Republicans have said in the past on this issue, let's take a look at what Chuck Todd has said in the past on this issue. Why not put him up for a vote? Really? Well, I mean, why really? is that? I mean, I'm just asking. That is a look. Any senator can have a rationale not to vote for a confirmation. Why not put Merrick Garland on the floor, and if the rationale is, you know what, too close to an election, then vote no. <laughs> what was wrong with allowing Merrick Garland to have an up or down vote? I already, t already told you. The fact of the matter is both sides try to change the rules to suit their political agendas in the moment. And make no mistake, it's the Democrat Party and their media that have been talking about stacking the courts going back to when Kavanaugh was confirmed. I mean, you had Pete Buttigieg call for it during a CNN town hall. 
And then you had this group of left-wing organizations that wrote an open letter to the Democrat Party calling for them to pack the courts. And now you have Nadler and Pelosi threatening to do that very thing, as well as starting a new sham impeachment against Trump, all just to stop this nomination process. The fact is, this is a cold civil war we're engaged in right now, and the Republicans are doing exactly what they should be. We should be pushing for this nomination, and we should fill that seat immediately. Because have no doubt, the Democrat Party and their media are going to do everything that they can do to secure power. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy this channel and you want to support it, please consider using one of the options listed in the description or the pinned comment. I also have a couple new t-shirt designs, so head on over to my Teespring store and check those out as well. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.